Hello, hello, it's Kitty, your declutter specialist, coming to you from picturesque Atlanta, Canada, where it is a beautiful sunny day. Uh, just one of those nice sunny fall, sort of semi-crisp days, and I hope it's a lovely day where you are, and if not, don't worry, it will be tomorrow, and then you end up passing on your weather to me. That's just the way it goes, <laughs> and hey, that's life, and we live with it, and we thrive with it. it would not only do we live with it, we thrive on it. We thrive on change. We thrive on adventure. It, good, good heavens, if every day were exactly the same, even in Hawaii, I, uh, I <laughs> You know, you gotta have a little bit of a rain or it changes as good as the rest, isn't it? All right, so who am I? Uh, who is this woman pontificating about the weather? I am Kitty, your declutter specialist from Declutter the Brain. And entrepreneurs hire me to help them to get rid of their clutter and overwhelm in 90 days. Hello, thank you for joining. So they can focus on making more money in their business and creating an, hello Michael, an amazing life for themselves and for their families. Now, I do believe that physical clutter and lack of focus and or concentration are really, really closely, uh, closely linked. So um, I have developed a system that has helped me and my clients banish years of clutter without the overwhelm. Yes, I said without it becoming a completely overwhelming process. And you're wondering, what? I am completely overwhelmed by my clutter. <laughs> and believe me, I've seen, I, I have seen some things. I have experienced some things even. Now, if, if you wanna learn more about, hey, how can she do it without getting overwhelmed? Stay tuned and we'll give you the next step to take to learn more. All right, uh, what do we have today? Uh, right, okay, okay, I always like to make sure I don't forget this. Declutter the Brain Facebook group. We are, um, basically our members have a, have a common goal and that is to clear the physical clutter and uh, you know some mental baggage that often accompanies it and we uh, basically that all of that stuff holds us back from being the super achievers and money makers that we were meant to be what do we have we have workshops we have special guests coming tips and tricks to minimize your overwhelm and maximize your productivity if that sounds like something that that would float your boat the, the link is down below. That will be the, I know there are a couple of links in the notes. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I click the bit.ly link there and it will take you right to us. We are small. We are not thousands of people. We are small and I like it that way, frankly, because we do vet our members. We are careful about um, potential heat, speech, bullying, anything like that. And um, yeah. So we are small, but we do want to grow and we do want you to join us. If you, if you think that you would like to jumpstart your way out of the clutter quagmire, you like that? That's not even written down here, the clutter quagmire. All right, um, da, 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 what else do we know? Okay, no, that's that's pretty, pretty good. We're into our content for this week, which is school streamlining. Now, we are assuming that I am going to say yay to you or Michael, perhaps it's your, your um, if you, you don't have school age grandchildren. Hmm. Okay, well that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> whether or not the, whether or not you uh, you have killed and children going back to school or or what have you this week's tips do apply in this particular case one size does fit all it doesn't always but in this particular case it does so listen up and but assuming hello Robin Wow and I was thinking about you my dear this morning because in uh, two weeks, two or three weeks. In three weeks, the content is really going to interest you in particular. Think mother, all right? We've got a seniors, a seniors, uh, seniors series coming up. Um, anywho, okay, 
I digress. Uh, but I did think about you this morning. Um, um, all right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so anywho, assuming that you have done your August planning, you know, you went to you went to the store before the shelves were all cleared and you got your kids' closets decluttered and they, they've got their new clothes and they've got their school supplies, everything is systemized. Do, 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 do. We're on a roll, we're on a roll, yes. And um, you, now we get to... What happens is, and I was telling Robin this yesterday, hello Pam, telling Robin this yesterday that you know, you'll feel like you're on a roll, and then the wheels don't seem to turn. As well as as well as they could. There's a, you know there's there's a rock in the in the wheel in the tire, and what we want to do is make sure that you streamline your way through the next ten ten months. Um, and Pam, of course, can can relate with her with her grandkids. Uh, she. <laughs> Your daughter wants to keep things streamlined for sure. Um, so we this week we're looking at three key ways that have helped a couple of my clients who ha who ha who do have school age children, young school age children, and things that I've gleaned from my colleagues. And you know what? Just plain common old horse sense. All right. Don't forget these tips can be applied whether or not you have kids, but we are focusing on kids. And if you have any comments, any suggestions, any things that have worked for you, please put them in the comments below or direct message me. And hey, the more the merrier. I don't have all the answers. Thank God. <laughs> Life will be a boring place. All right. So first thing yesterday we looked at was yeah, 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 Kitty, you sound like a boring, like a broken record, and that would be morning routine. What do I mean by that? It is good for your body clock to get up at the same time every morning. All right, especially if you're ADHD. All right, that would really, really need structure. Now, if you're getting up at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m., let's pick, uh, I think the average is 7 a.m. So I'm gonna go 6.30. No, <laughs> you're going to get up at, at 7 a.m. Well, then go to bed at the same time every night as well. You know, roughly, give or take 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be rigid military like my lifestyle, God help us all. Uh, <laughs> hey, even I waver 10 minutes one way or the other. Yeah, you heard it from me first. Um, but keep a regular morning routine because if you're bouncing around from 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., it doesn't do your body clock any good, certainly doesn't do your scheduling any good, and definitely for your kids, this is really, really important. It, believe me, when I hear you, when, when you hear this, people, you are teaching your child a lifelong skill to be able to be, uh, hey, they're in college, you don't want them waking up at 11.30 in the morning. Well, if they're sleeping it off, then I suppose you have no choice, do you? But we're going to assume not. <laughs> Ooh, that was unscripted. All right, so now you want to make sure that you're getting up at the same time every morning. And what else comes with morning? Yes, you're right, breakfast. It's great. You remember that one. I think we're old enough. I don't know. Is Tony to the Tiger still around? Guys, if anybody knows, put it in the comments below. Uh, I don't watch TV, so, uh, so I don't know if that commercial is still on. I, I think he's still on the cereal boxes. Anywho. Um, yes, you do need breakfast. Um, it's... Now, I actually read an article when I was doing this research that said, no, it's a myth, you don't need breakfast. And they were giving these scientific reasons. Well, you know what, there are too many pros and not enough cons. I'll take the 20 articles that say, yes, um, you need breakfast versus the one that says, no, you don't. All right, just easier for my brain to handle. Thank you very much. And it just makes sense. Now, young brains in particular, they're growing. Yes, they need nutrition at regular intervals during the day. Uh, I don't have children, by the way, so I don't. But I know that. But uh, I do know that. Hey, 
I needed to eat. I still need nutrition at a regular, at a regular um, intervals. But for young brains that are growing, this is their most important time. It's a seven years old kind of thing. So you want to make sure that that you do start with some sort of breakfast. All right, just chew because it's breaking the fast. You didn't eat for eight hours. We're assuming, unless you're midnight, you're a middle of the night nausea. I don't know anybody like that. <laughs> okay, um, it, you've got to start with some sort of breakfast, and I don't care what Tony the Tiger tells you. But filling your face with sugar at any time isn't great. All right, so what you want to do is, depending on your form, uh, your family dynamic, you want to decide with your kids, and they're going to have fun with this. Oh, wow, I get to make a decision on my own? Okay, no, hide, this, hide the, the Frosted Flakes, okay? Or, I shouldn't use a brand name, but hide the, hide the sugary cereal and decide on an easy, 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 nutritious breakfast that all can agree on so that it's streamlined, okay? Everybody is eating the same thing, whether it's oatmeal with your choice of topping. You can have banana, you can have strawberry jam, you can have marmalade, you can have blackberries, uh, whatever it is. Yes, I just picked some last week and the season's over. Too bad. I won't get, and I didn't get enough to make jam. Uh, or it's just some bread with peanut butter on it. That is an awesome breakfast. It is packed with protein and a little bit of fiber. Yeah, we all need fiber. Anyway, and stick to this routine. Make it easy is what I'm trying to say to you for your morning. And this, this sets the tone for the whole day. And then you can just j up and at them on your way out the door, running down the street, catching the bus. Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Uh, a couple of things I want to share with you is to ask you if you like this video, if you find if you find value in it, if you want to throw rotten tomatoes at it. I hope you don't, but you know, uh, um, if if you find it funny, hey, just share it. I'll tell you why. Not because I asked you to, but because you never know who might be uh, just scrolling, doom scrolling through the, uh, through, through, the, uh, through the Facebook or social media because we are on other platforms and th they might just stop and go, huh, yeah, that was kind of funny. All right, I feel a little bit better. Okay, I'll get back to work now. I feel better now. I've been there, all right, where I, and it hasn't been social that's picked me up, but maybe a friend uh, or seeing a friend on social and uh, you know makes me feel better so I encourage you to make someone else's day that is the kind of tribe that the kind of people that I attract is those who want to help others so do me proud won't you all right uh, speaking of videos we are now live on YouTube thank you yeah um, we have at least uh, three weeks totally curated um, organized with topic with date you name it just go to you uh, go to YouTube I, uh, the link is not below just go to YouTube declutter the brain and check it out subscribe if you love it what else do you need to know all right yes and we cover a lot of food groups get it food groups here at declutter the brain and that www.declutterthebrain.com is where you can get my free gift to you. I've got another one coming, by the way. Um, uh, but for now, we've got seven easy steps to conquer your clutter, no matter what your clutter may be. It does come with live, uh, with um, a series of short videos so that you never feel alone. This is the thing. Um, Robin, are you receiving this? Um, if not, I'll put you on the list uh, again because you've got to check out the videos. Uh, any of you guys, if you want to check out the videos. Michael, I know you did. All right. Uh, so, anywho, www.declutterthebrain.com is also where you can, if you think that you would like to jump on a, 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 a free clutter checkup call to see what your clutter may be costing you in your health, in your wealth, in your relationships. Let's have a chat. We'll set you up with some immediate action and see if I can help you go further faster. I'm, uh, yeah, I covered everything here. I know Michael and Pam did that and you are worth it. All right, tomorrow, let's do lunch. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Take care.